always trying to bring the best information to you guys, things that I learned from millionaires, things that I learned from my mentor, things that I learned from books of people who are billionaires. So I'm always trying to retain the information better by teaching it back. And that's, you know, one learning tool that I do. And also while I'm doing the speaking challenge to increase my speaking skills, the 67 day challenge, it takes between 21 and 66 days to build a habit. I'm making speaking a habit by doing it for 67 days. So I'm back at it today. Day 24 won't stop. I'm going to be talking to you today about your natural income score. And so everybody has a natural income score. And so that means, how good are you at making money naturally? What have you done? Are there some signs that you can tell this? I know that for the baseball program, the Glendora baseball program, I'm the winning salesman two back-to-back years of selling discount cards. I sold 35 cards my sophomore year and 29-odd cards last year. Came in first place both years. And so that's something I'm good at naturally. You know, selling door to door, I guess, you know, I I was able to do it pretty successfully. Part of that is because I went to a lot of houses, but part of that is because I'm good at speaking in front of people. I'm pretty comfortable. And so that that's one thing that I leveraged was my speaking abilities. And I use that, you know, to have a higher than average natural income score. I say I might rank a six. That might be a six. I heard this one story of um, I forget the man, but now he's a millionaire. (laughs) But when he was about 11 years old, he had a poker tournament set up in his attic and somehow he made it. So he was, of course, the dealer and he was making, you know, one to th- one to two thousand dollars a month. That's about twenty four thousand dollars when you're age 11. I mean, that's pretty good until his brother beat him up because he found out what he was doing. But besides that, I mean, he had, he's a 10. Also, you can be this by being Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett at age seven between the ages of seven and 12, read every book on finance in the Omaha, Nebraska library. Warren Buffett's a 10 on the natural income score. And so it's also, you know, how interested are you in making money? Are you willing to try different things? Are you willing to experiment? Are you going to learn about it? Are you going to go out and find a mentor? So that goes back to the three self-learning principles where you need to experiment, you need to read, you need to have a mentor. And so are you willing to do the things about money? Money, like I said in previous videos, it's a language not a lot of people know. Not the, the basic person couldn't average. The average person could not answer, you know, a thorough money question, a detailed money question. I guarantee that. I don't know about money myself. I'm learning. I'm in the process of learning. So that's what I'm trying to get to. But, you know, I cut, I cut this trend early. People who have money are the people who know about, who know about money. <laughs> so that's your natural income score. The good thing about a natural income score is that you can improve it. And so you need to take steps in order to do this. And so, I mean, that goes into your psychology where you can outperform your score. And that's where you read about it. That's where you have mentors and you do experiments and that's how you're going to outperform your score. And so, yep, that that's your natural income score. You want to hopefully double this in your lifetime. So for me, Maybe doubling for me would be, you know, I get to a nine because it's kind of like an exponential scale. It's it's not so like, you know, doubling like five to ten, but necessarily I just get a lot better over time. And so, yeah, natural income score, work on that if you're interested in making money, which I'm pretty sure we all are.